My name is Joak Gusson. I'm from the Onondaga Nation and I'm a faith keeper for the Turtle Clan. My English name is Oren Lyons. I have the title of Taradaho, a uh, traditional leader of the Haudenosaunee. Uh, my English name is Sidney Hill. And my given name at birth was uh, Hai Hodagwas. So I have, a, I have a number of names. <laughs> I'm from uh, the Onondaga Nation, which is a uh, central fire of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy. The Haudenosaunee, and the French call us Iroquois. English call us Six Nations. But we are six confederated nations. Mohawk, Oneida, Onondaga, Cayuga, Seneca, Tuscarora. It's an old confederation based on peace, equity, and good minds. We have certain mandates given to us as people and then as leaders to care for the next generation, just care for the earth and respecting that. Right now we're located just south of the city of Syracuse, New York. We've always been in the area, stretching up into, uh, into Canada, down past Pennsylvania, our, our Aboriginal territory. At one time, the Haudenosaunee, I was told by leaders, our leaders had as many as 85 nations under our wing. That's a lot of responsibility. We have been given three messages uh, from the Creator for our people. And the first was given to us as our ceremonies, and how we were to give thanks for uh, all the things that we have, and to be respect and appreciate those things, and to uh, also to take care of them, you know, or be responsible for those. And we got away from that, and the people start warring, just devastating the, uh, our people in all our territories. And he felt that he, we needed another message, the message from the peacemaker. He sent this message to this young know, person to bring peace and to form the Confederacy, to come together as a unified government and give us the ways to conduct ourselves and to elect leaders and to create this balance amongst our people. The peacemaker said way back there to our people, he said, the earth is female. And therefore, the women are in charge of life. The earth itself, water. The women have this responsibility, and he says, as we are setting up the Haudenosaunee, this new confederation, it will be a matrilineal, it will follow the woman's side. Your identity will be what your mother is. We always talk about that balance of families, of clans, of nations. So there was always a continuous teaching of that balance, the balance between nature and ourselves. So, and when that balance is, is good, that's when uh, everybody is uh, safe, safe and uh, happy, you know? and, and that's how things should be. When the peacemaker came to us at that time, he said, you're going to base your confederation on three principles. The first one is peace. The second one is equity, fairness to the people, fair to life, and then the power of the good minds the ability of the good minds to gather and to relate and to make good decisions. And uh, they underline the word good. He says, those are the principles of your existence. And that was the message that he brought, that we should be <clears throat> watching out for one another, cheating one another uh, the best we can, protecting the elders and uh, the young. And the other instruction, that one of the other instructions that the peacemaker said to us is that when you sit and you counsel for the welfare of the people, think not of yourself, nor of your family, nor even your generation. 
make your decisions on behalf of the seventh generation coming. And that would bring you peace. And then the third message was back in 1799, where one of our leaders got a message as to how we were to continue as a people with our white brothers, and how do we maintain who we are and our languages and our, our ways and our ceremonies to continue that, even though we're having this conflict in our lands and our people. That was the, um, the last message that's pretty much uh, helped us survive this today. So we're, we're here, we're still here, uh, whether, whether we're recognized or not. We, we are a people, we have our language, we have our ways, we have our land, what little land we have left. And it's important as a, uh, you talk about human rights, you know, that's, that's a human right that everybody has to have their own, to, uh, to be able to identify themselves as who they are. Our generation doesn't know what it, what our ancestors had gone through to, uh, to maintain, to keep what we have today. Uh, you, know, you talk about the boarding schools, you talk about alcoholism, you talk about the loss of land, uh, the uh, forced removal. Uh, it, it, it's amazing, amazing that they have uh, kept those messages and uh, uh, kept it for us. So, we can't take that lightly. Uh, we can't take that lightly, and uh, it's our it's our duty to to maintain that and keep it going for the next generations. That's it's all. That's what we have to do. <laughs>